Jamie Pusher. And we're joined right now by Ben Simon, who is with us. And, Ben, that was quite a first period. I'll tell you what, you and Mark Hardigan and Adam Pino, you've got some uh, early jump in your step there. Yeah, we uh, started off well. It's a lot easier when you're starting the five-minute power play. I think we had a little time in the PP, and uh, it's a lot easier to get on the scoreboard first with that and get the confidence going. Well, Ben, the reason you were on the power play was because, uh, you know, you're up to your antics on the left wing, the, the opening draw, getting involved, and it seems like when you're playing your game, you're getting involved with Cody, Mc Cody McCormick, and you drew a big penalty, and I just want to know what you said to him. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Every uh, every shift I start off, give the little guy a tap, let him know I'm there, and you know, just let him know that you're going to compete every shift against the guy you're going against, and I guess he took ex exception to it and turned around and got me pretty good in the visor there, thank God. Hey, Ben, we've been talking about the fact that you know you need to win home games and you've been playing hard at home. Sometimes it's worked out, sometimes it hasn't. But to come out tonight, not only get the early power play opportunity, but then to bury a goal, then to bury another goal. I mean, how easy is it to get going when you have this two-goal lead? Yeah, well, it definitely gets the confidence going. Uh, you know, conversely, though, they, you know, some of the guys who aren't on the power play aren't playing, so they're not really getting involved in the game. But, you know, once you're playing with the two-goal lead, it's a lot easier for the goalies to get involved, a lot easier for everyone to, to play at that point. So... It does uh, help with the confidence a, a, tr a tremendous amount. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I know you're an educated guy. You graduated <laughs> yeah, from Notre Dame. Yeah, tell there? <laughs> <laughs> you graduated from Notre Dame with a sociology major. Uh, anything carry over for you from your degree into, uh, I know you're a parent as well, but into the game and, and uh, how you approach the game and your teammates and, and stuff like that? I think it's just uh, you learn more of a routine in college, and I think that helps to carry over. And, teach younger guys who haven't really developed that yet but you know it, it does help out a lot to have that experience in college well ben i just wanted to say uh, one thing to you on new year's eve when i fell ill in winnipeg manitoba you were kind enough to come and sit with me at the hospital all night long and 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 i've told you privately but i haven't had a chance to tell you publicly uh, uh yet until today i just want to thank you for that and for being there and and being for such a good friend and a good guy and i know you were just in that same situation uh, uh, last may yeah it stinks to be in the hospital alone i know the feeling and Glad we got you out of there and uh, back on the air here. All right. Well, you thanks. look as good as ever, but it's tough with the guy like, like Pusher standing next to you to look that good. <laughs> yeah, Pusher, you look great back there. I was taller before I had the operation. <laughs> well, that's the way it works. All right, there Ben, thanks. Good luck the rest All of the right. way. Thanks, guys. That's Ben Simon of the Syracuse Crunch, who's out to a 2 to nothing.